Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a quick and easy recipe for caramel apple bars. And this recipe starts with a convenient store-bought cookie mix. So let me show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a package of oatmeal cookie mix. You're gonna need some cold butter, some freeze-dried apples, and these are the ones that are crunchy. These are not the dried apples. These are freeze-dried and they're kind of crispy like a potato chip. I have seen them everywhere from, of course, your typical grocery store to the Dollar Tree. You're gonna need some flour and egg, caramel topping, and cinnamon and nutmeg. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is start off by cutting our butter into our cookie mix. And you do wanna make sure that your butter is ice cold and you're gonna to wanna to cut it up into little slices, just like I did. And you can use a pastry blender, and this is a pastry blender, or you can use a couple of forks, a couple of knives, or you can even use a food processor, and you're just gonna work that butter into your cookie mix. And now I'm just going to add in my egg and give it a good stir. And now I'm gonna take out a cup and a half of the mixture and set it aside for the topping. So now I'm gonna take the rest of that mixture and I'm just pouring it into my eight by 11 pan that I have sprayed with cooking spray. And I'm just gonna press it down. And I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees and I am just going to pop this in the oven and let it bake for about 20 minutes. So let's work on our caramel topping while we've got our crust in the oven. And all I am doing is just pouring that caramel topping into another bowl. And next I'm gonna add in that flour and I'm just gonna stir it up really well. Okay, so I just took my crust out of the oven and while it was in the oven, I realized that I hadn't added my cinnamon and nutmeg mixture to that cookie mix. So I did add it to the topping, but don't forget to add it to your cookie mixture once you have everything all blended. So now I'm just gonna take those, whoops, those freeze dried apples and I'm just gonna sprinkle them over that crust. And the reason I prefer to use the freeze dried apples over the fresh apples is because I really don't like um, like a, a doughy type of or a super soft cookie bar. So these freeze dried apples, once a little bit of moisture hits them, like the caramel sauce that we're gonna use, that's gonna soften them up a bit. So just spread them out. And now you're gonna add your caramel topping right on top and you're just gonna spread it out as best as you can. Okay, so I've got that caramel all spread out. It's not gonna be perfect. Just do the best that you can. And what I'm doing now is just sprinkling that reserved cookie crumble or uh, that mixture right on top. Okay, so I've got that topping all spread out and I just patted it down just a little bit in certain places. I am going to pop this back into the oven for about 20, 25 minutes or until that topping is nice and golden brown. Okay, so I let the bars bake for 25 minutes. I just took them out of the oven and I am going to let these cool completely and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. So here are the bars. I let them cool completely and you can see that caramel oozing out. Those apples got nice and tender. These are so good. I hope you all enjoyed this quick and easy recipe. I have an entire playlist of quick desserts that I will link in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all next time.